Hi, my name is Sean Cherry and I'm a junior at the University of Arkansas. Today I'm here at Tom Lee Park in beautiful downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Behind me you can see the Tom Lee Memorial statue. Tom Lee Park is a mile long memorial park that runs along the mighty Mississippi River. This park is dedicated to Tom Lee and his courageous actions on a fateful day in 1925. On May 8, 1925, a steamboat named M.E. Norman was carrying over 70 people, most of whom were prominent Memphis civil engineers and their families, when suddenly it capsized and almost immediately started sinking. On his way home, river worker Tom Lee drove his boat past the M.E. Norman when all of a sudden it started to sink, leaving many people to the mercy of the powerful Mississippi River. Without thought, Lee turned his boat around and began plucking people out of the chilly water and drove them to the safety of the shore. When the night was over, Tom Lee had saved 32 passengers, 17 had swam to safety on their own, and unfortunately 23 of the passengers died. Without the quick actions of Tom Lee, the death toll would have undoubtedly been much higher. Not only was his feat impressive because Tom Lee couldn't swim, but also because he ignored the fact that all the passengers that he saved were white. You have to remember that this was a time of much racial tension, especially in the South. After his heroic efforts, the Engineers Club of Memphis bought Tom Lee and his wife a house. They also set up a bank account to pay the taxes on the house. The city of Memphis also gave Lee a secure job for life as a sanitation worker, and then when he retired he received great benefits. Lee eventually died in 1952, and two years later, the park was dedicated to him and his heroic actions. In 2006, a new monument was erected in memory of Tom Lee's rescue. The new sculpture was created by David Allen Clark, a figurative bronze sculptor who mainly focuses on realistic and portrait sculptures. The new piece depicts Tom Lee and his boat, the Zev, reaching out to rescue a drowning man. This sculpture has very many realistic values such as the way that the clothes fall on the bodies of the two men. The realistic features can also be seen in how natural both the wood plank and the wood on the boat both look. They look as if they were actually made of wood instead of metal. The realistic values continue in the way that the men's facial features are shown, such as their hair and the wrinkles on their bodies. When you're standing next to the statues, you can actually look them in the eye and see their pupils and their iris, and it looks very realistic. It's actually kind of scary. In my opinion, this sculpture has subtle similarities to the Baroque and Roman style sculptures, especially in the way the clothes rest on the bodies, the expressions of the figures, and the action depicted by the sculpture. The Tom Lee sculpture reminds me a little bit of the action represented in the equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius and it also kind of reminds me of a scene in the Sistine Chapel. This sculpture is different from many others because of the perspective of the piece. When David Allen Clark created this piece he made it so that the perspective of the viewer is from the same vantage point as the person in the water being rescued. He does this by placing the water line of the boat at the eye level of the viewer. The floor on which the sculpture is on also has zigzag lines to help create the perception of the current of the river and actually being in the water. This monument also uses the space that it is in by using the Mississippi River as a background. This not only strengthens the viewer's sense of actually being in the water or the currents, but it also serves the importance of where the disaster actually took place. Finally, this monument mainly uses the natural bronze color and darker patinas. The man in the water has some bluish green patina that scales to a darker patina. This gives the viewer a sense of the depth of the water that the man is struggling in. Personally, I really enjoy this sculpture. I like that it uses a different perspective than most memorials. It really gives you the feeling that you're in the water waiting to be rescued. I also like that they decided to use the Mississippi River as a background because it shows you the power of the river and how amazing of a feat that this actually was. Finally, I like what the overall message of the sculpture is. In the vision of David Allen Clark, this monument serves as a metaphor for reaching across racial barriers and recognizing the humanity in each other. 
Well, that's all from Memphis, Tennessee, in this beautiful Tom Lee Memorial Sculpture. Thank you for tuning in for another installment of Art You Can See in a Day.